Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me and I'm going to be using some of my current favorite products. I'm also going to be using a very lovely eyeshadow palette and this is the new palette from Dior. Um, this is from Dior's Fall 2021 makeup collection in Night Bird, and I really love this palette. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, welcome. I love talking about luxury beauty, and I love to share with you my passion for makeup and for the latest luxury beauty releases. If that sounds interesting, please be sure to subscribe and join this amazing beauty community that we have here. We have a beauty family of so many makeup lovers, so join the fun. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, first I'm gonna start with my base and I forgot I was decluttering some of my makeup recently and I actually forgot that I have the Chanel Le Beige foundation. This is the new one that was released. I did a comparison of the old one and the new one. This is one of my favorite foundations, but because I have so much makeup, I realized that I haven't used this foundation in quite a while now. And let's go ahead and try this. I'm wearing this foundation in number uh, B10. And it's very liquidy. It has great coverage. It has amazing coverage and it has some natural finish. So I'm just gonna dot it here and there. It doesn't have an SPF. So be sure to wear SPF. This is one of my current favorites. So I'm going to be applying a thin layer. I usually use one pump of this foundation and I forgot that I have it. Like, it's one of my favorite foundations. It's not oily at all. So I think it's suitable for all skin types. Even if you're oily, I don't think that this foundation is going to make you look oily. It looks exactly like skin and you can build up the coverage as much as you need which is amazing. So I'm going to list all of the products that I'm using in the description box so that I can chat with you. These are all, for now I'm using only old products, old favorites. And I have been absent for a while and a lot of you noticed, so I wanted to say a huge thank you for all of the amazing messages that I have been receiving. Um, thank you so much. You guys are such an amazing community. Um, a lot of you have reached out to me asking me how I am and if everything is okay. So I, I have been going through a very tough period in my life, but you know, there are always ups and downs in life. You know, it's part of life and it's normal. And I have been through a lot of stress recently. Um, it's been very stressful. It's It has been a very challenging and very bad period in my life. So my partner decided to surprise me with a trip to Venice and Venice is our special place because we were planning to do a trip to Paris since two years, but then the whole pandemic started and we couldn't do it. We could never do it. And it looks like this year travel, international travel is not very easy. It's not very safe. So that's why he decided to surprise me with a trip to Venice and Venice is our very, very special place. It's like it has a special meaning to us. Um, I forgot to apply concealer here, but anyways. And I did have the best time in Venice because Venice is a magical place. I am going to do a vlog or a couple of vlogs because I want to show you around. I want to show you this really magical city that everyone should visit at least once in their life. So I did my best to film some footage but also I had a terrible accident there and I'm going to tell you more um, in my vlog. But I feel like I'm living a second life right now. It was really challenging. Um, yeah, as I said, I guess that I'm just in a bad period. I'm looking in the mirror, that's why I look in this direction all of the time. So let me know in the comments below if you've been on vacation. So if you've watched my previous get ready with me video, I was complaining that we can't go on vacation and finally we managed to go on vacation. <laughs> but it was not exactly what I expected. I mean, if I exclude the accident that happened with me, everything else was going to be just perfect because 
what's not to like in Venice. I'm gonna actually insert a little bit of footage of Venice right now, right here, just to tease you a little bit and to show you what I'm going to show you in one of my next videos. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to turn the notification bell on because what I'm going to show you in Venice is just pure magic. So I just curled my eyelashes and now I'm moving on to eyes. I'm going to be using this new palette from Dior and I really, really love it. When I saw the first promo photos of this palette, I didn't want it. I was sure that I, I didn't want to get this palette and I purchased this palette actually only to review, but I love it. I love it so much. And I never thought that I was going to love actually a green palette. So I'm gonna start with this color here. I'm actually not sure what I want to do, so let's let's go ahead and start and see. Because I'm not really used to this kind of dark, intense green colors. So I guess I'm just going to change the brush. So I just want to have fun with this palette and it is really outstanding quality. I think that Dior did a great job here and all of the brands this year, the trend is apparently the, the trend this year is green makeup. For this fall, we have more greens from all brands. Apparently these are the guidelines for this year to have green makeup. So let's see what's going to happen. So let me know what did you purchase recently. I actually never thought that I was going to like green eyeshadows. But I really love this palette. Like it's like I haven't been so excited um, about an eyeshadow palette in a while. So I'm going to apply a little bit of the yellow right in the middle of my eye. And look at this lovely, it's almost like a foil effect really like it. So the quality of this eyeshadow palette in particular is just outstanding. The colors blend so beautifully. I'm going to be using some of the green shade here. So I needed to do a few international travels and they were connected mostly with, with family, with some problems that I had. And to be honest with you guys, the international travel was not very nice it was not it didn't go as smooth as before so let me know if you have traveled internationally is it like how was your experience because for now like i really wanted to go to paris for a vacation um this summer but i'm definitely going to postpone because like the international travel was really horrible experience one of a kind like, I don't recommend traveling internationally if you're based in Europe, but let me know in the comments below how was your experience, because I really want to know. Like, it, my experience was just horrible, like canceled flights, people couldn't check in, um, like 70% of the flight checks in and other 30% of the people remain un without being able to check in because something happens with the system. I don't know, is it like this only in Italy or is it something that happens at all airports? I don't know, I just got scared to be honest when I was traveling. And I used to travel a lot in the past. I've never experienced, um, I've never experienced such um, disorganized, situation. I really love how this look is coming out. I think I'm not doing a great job with the blending, but overall I'm quite happy. I think I'm just going to keep going with the yellow here. 
I never knew that I was actually going to be in the mood for such green colors. But it turns out that I am being more adventurous recently with makeup. And I think that this year Peter Phillips did such a great job with the full makeup collection of Dior. I'm really excited. I'm wondering if I should get the blush also, but I just recently picked the new blush from Chanel's makeup collection and there have been way too many blushes. There are going to be also new Tom Ford blushes, which I'm planning to get. So that's why I think that I'm gonna skip this, the new Dior blushes, even though they look really, really nice. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Just going to line my also a little bit my lower lash lines and I think that I'm going to be using a black coal eyeliner on my upper lash line because I think that green and black just go together so nicely. Okay guys and now I'm going to be using this peachy shade here. I'm going to be using it on my lower lash line just to see what's going to happen because I feel more adventurous. I'm not very impressed, to be honest. But why not? Hmm. I don't really like it. Um, okay, that was a little bit of a miss, but anyways, I prefer without. Then I'm going to be using this black Dior Co eyeliner, which I love. I'm going to just line my upper lash line a little bit. Because I don't have a liquid black eyeliner. I love black eyeliner, but I currently don't have any. The eyeliners that I had were really old, so that I had to declutter them really. Couldn't keep them, but I'm going to be using this one. Okay, so this is with the eyeliner on, and I'm, I think I'm going to intensify the look a little bit more, just a little bit right here on the outer part of my eye. And I want to challenge you all guys, and I want to invite you to dream together with me. I have been craving to travel for such a long time um, for, since the pandemic started because I love traveling and not being able to travel really affects me mentally like it just I feel uninspired so let's dream a little together if you could move to some place if you could move to a city and if you could change your location where would you go what is your what is the city of your dreams because when I was in Venice I, I said to myself well I want to move to Venice I actually want to live in Venice for a little while probably for six months for a year maybe but I I wish like I have a dream to live in Venice for a little while like for six months maybe move to Venice for six months or so let me know what's your dream city dream place um, because I really want to know just write in the comment section below what is the city of your dreams and if you could move to live there just for six months or for a year, where would you go? What's the place where you, where would you go? Milan? And while I'm applying my mascara, because this is quite boring, I'm just going to give you some footage from Venice because this is the city of, of my dreams. Probably if I had the chance to move somewhere for a little while, like not forever, but for a little while, I was probably going to move to Venice and that's why I'm going to show you some footage right now. For lips, I'm going to be using one of my favorite Chanel lipsticks, and this is the Chanel Lax. Okay, and then for highlighter, I'm going to be using the new Dior highlighter. This one is my favorite. This is the Pink Glow, and I have a review of these highlighters. I picked a few of them, but I'm only using the Pink Glow. The others, I really don't use them and haven't used them, 
but this one is definitely my favorite because it matches my skin tone so beautifully. And I think I'm almost ready. I actually think I'm ready. <laughs> and I think this is the finished look. Let me get closer. Okay, so that's the finished look. Let me just put my hair down probably. Let's see. Um, and yeah, don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you could move somewhere and if you could live somewhere for a little while. What is your dream city? What is the city of your dreams? What is the place that you dream about? Now, when I was younger, I remember that I was dreaming, I, when I was a little kid, I remember that I was dreaming to live in New York City and I wanted to live, I wanted to have an apartment on a skyscraper, very high floor. Um, but right now I dream about Venice. So let's dream a little together. Let's connect. I just, I just want to dream a little with you together. Okay, guys, so that was all for today's video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing beauty community. Also turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss future videos and do not miss my Venice vlog because I have a lot of magical places to show you in Venice and I promise it's going to be very interesting. I'm really excited about this experience and I'm really really excited to share this amazing experience with you. I'm going to go to Venice once again um, in the coming weekend so I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye!